And we're back. It's Memorial Day weekend. We're back here to where, where it all started. Now, not where it all started for me, it's just all together, but where it all started for me this year, where I lost my rod, where I made the legendary fishing videos. <laughs> Let me stop, man. Uh, now we're back to the spot here. One of my favorites. I've been here several times. It's getting grown in. It's Memorial Day weekend. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this water boy they got some rain here. It's too high. It's too high. Yeah, this place is too high to fish. That doesn't mean that I'm not gonna fish it because I'm gonna fish in here and probably catch one. I just got a feeling but what I'm gonna have to re-strategize. I'm gonna have to make a different strategy for the day I can tell because the water's too high. But that's a good problem because as low as this water's been this year, I'm glad it's like this. I'll be honest with you because it's Memorial Day weekend, so I got three days to fish. So the fact that it's like this right now, that's good. I'm going to catch one right now. I'll show you. I'll show you how it's done here. If I, you know, if I'm wrong, then I'm gonna look like an idiot. But I can always edit it out of the footage. Let's see what it is. That's where they should be, right there. Right around that corner, right now. There should be one. That's a good spot for one that they like to get there when the rain gets and the water gets high like this. They like to get right up on this edge to get out of that current. There should be one right there. There's bound to be some fish wash down in this hole right here, and this is a spot where they can get over and get out of the current. Well, I didn't expect this. I saw the water was high in a creek. I, I usually look at this one when I'm when I'm driving down this way. I usually look in this creek just upstream as I'm coming down to see you know, what it looks like. But uh, well, it's like my dad said, when you think you're going to catch him, you don't. When you don't think you're going to catch him, you do. Well, I thought sure there would be one right there. Usually, I made an epic video, I think, well, it was epic to me, it was down here, was it last year when it was raining like crazy? I'm trying to remember what time of year that was, it was raining like crazy. There's something. See? There's one, well, see? He's a little releaser, though. I'm on my game today, though. Look, little rainbow, I'm gonna let him go. Oh man, he's swallowed. Oh, I might just, I might have to harvest him. Swallowed. That's what happens sometimes when you're using worms. Man. He's a little old rainbow. I'm gonna keep him. I'll feed him to my dog. I did that the other day. Gave, gave him another one. He liked it. Of course, I, I mean, I fed it to him. You know, I cooked it. And fed it to him a little bit at a time. You know, I ain't want him to have to deal with the bones and all. Oh well, that's a start. And the fish won't go to waste. Won't go to waste. Merlin, Merlin, I feed my, I feed my dog. I feed my family. He's, he's part of my family. But see, what I was gonna say, I'm on my A game today because. Oh, that's weird how his tail is. Anyway, it's a small start, but it's a start. All right, I'm gonna use the same worm, you know, that I left off with it. That little one just chewed up. Man, I hate to keep that little fish. He was even smaller than the one I fed Merlin last week. But, like I say, they say you can cut the line and give me a hook, but I ain't really wanna lose my hook for one thing, and I, I don't know, man, he has swallowed it so far down his throat, huh? I guess they might. 
be all right. I, I don't know. I don't understand. It's, it's jamming in your throat like that. I could see if there was a hook like in your mouth or inside of your mouth or something, but it's jammed down in the throat like that. They say they rust out though, no problem. That's all. That was a. That was. Looked like a potential problem to me for that little fish. I started for the spinner on right off the top out here because I figured there was a fish in. Matter of fact, to tell you the truth, I almost put a uh, uh, trout magnet on. The super boy did just swear by them. And I don't think I've ever even caught anything on it. I wanted to see. I felt like there's. I felt confident there's some fish right here in this hole today. And I wanted to see. I thought there would be some right there where I caught that one. I thought there would be three or four fish just sitting right there. That's how it was that time when I recorded last year. I think it was last year in the fall when it rained and this water was up like this. I don't even think it was this high to tell you, dude. This is a surprise to me. I don't even think the water was quite this high last year. This and 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 what and why it's such a surprise that it's up like this to me now is boy they must have had some rain. I don't know how many inches they. I didn't look it up or anything. But uh, the water's been low, so it was taking a lot to, to, to get it like this. Last year when the water got high here and it was like that, it might have been about the same. Might have been high, I don't know. But last year when it did this and I was down here fishing, um, the water wasn't as low as it was before the rain event. But this water was really low this year and it's, it's funny how it does I mean this is only going to last it's going to go right back down I know I mean I don't know when it rained so much I said no, it must have rained yesterday morning but uh I know it rained a couple of days earlier in the week and I know I saw what well, was raining here yesterday morning but it didn't look like it was a major event. But, you know, I can't tell from just looking on my phone at the weather thing on my phone, so, you know. Uh, you really kind of have to witness it, I guess, to know the real deal. And I'm down here early this morning. Probably the early. Perhaps the earliest I've been fishing. Oh yeah. It's over seven o'clock. It's not a banner moment or anything. <laughs> not no groundbreaking feet. 705 I think it was, I looked at my phone I think right when I was fixing to start walking down here it was like 705 when I was all got all my boots and vest and all my gear on and everything wow man I'm shocked I'm shocked I thought there would be something more in here for sure I think there is. I think it's just something. I think the water's just still too high, which I thought I could remedy that. But nevertheless, I got a plan. I got a plan for these days like this. So stick with me. I'm not quite done fishing here yet, but.
I'll try to spin them before I take off from here. I'm sure they'll give you more coverage on a spot like this, especially when the water's so high and all. That'll get me to be able to cast way down there. So, uh, I'll be back with you here in just a minute. I had some good bites on the spinner. I mean, I caught a couple of fish on the spinner last week. some fish in here. I've been thinking about something this year. I'd like to catch a big one on the spinner. I don't think I've ever caught a big fish on the spinner. This is gonna be a good spot to probably do it. I'll tell you guys something, man. It's kind of chilly out here this morning. Boy, these spinners, man. If they, <laughs> if they don't spin, they <laughs> too. It's so dark out here. I can't hardly see. I'm shocked about this whole start out here today. I'm shocked this water's high. I'm shocked there's not a fish in here. I mean, I'm really shocked that this water's this high. I, th I saw the creek was a little high when I got here last night. Over on the other side of town, you might say. And I thought, well, that's good. So that would be... I told my wife, I said, that's, that's good, it'll be. I think to myself, I'm trying to stay just only positive. I have a bad habit of getting those negative vibes going with. And she gets on me about that, and I said, I was thinking to myself, well, it'll probably be good tomorrow, but after that, it probably won't be, like, Sunday and Monday won't be that good because it'll be back down low. And, uh, Now I kind of feel I can get three good days of fishing, even if the water goes back down because this water came so hot that uh, it's moving some fish around. Even if the water's still that high. I mean, as you can see, it kind of probably needs to go down, actually. At this point, I need it to go down. I can tell you, it ain't gonna stay. It must have rained yesterday, but it, it didn't stay like me. It can't, it can't sustain it. I didn't, I didn't see the, the rain. I didn't see the rain. I don't know how many inches. But I'm guessing it had to be at least a couple, two or three. Maybe more. But, uh, I, I'm, I'm just, I just know the game too good that 
even with that. They can't last but so long. Here's my hole right here though. I was talking about earlier this year that I ain't never caught a fish out of. I think it might have been the first day I fished this year I was saying that. And uh But I was saying how I always fish it because it's just a really good looking hole. I don't know for once this year I'm gonna need a bigger split shot. But uh it's always been a good looking hole to me. I'm and I, I think I said I can't remember. I might have caught a fish there one time many years ago, but it's been years. And then lo and behold, right when I was saying that, boom, I caught one this year. Right there. He wasn't big, but he was, I kept him. He was big enough to keep. I've always thought that one of those I thought we one to get today, boy, would be a prime location for one. Right up in there against that tree root. catch one or anything like that through here. But today I, I, I feel pretty good. I'm, I'm feeling confident coming up this way right now. I think there might be something up there. Because it's a spot where a fish can get over, like I'm saying, get a little break from the current. I'm coming up on right here. I'm probably gonna walk up to this bridge and see what happens. And uh, from there, I'll uh, probably not go any further up this part of this creek today. I'm probably going to this between here and this bridge right here, as you can see, and then I'm gonna have to relocate this to a different water. Lost a big one up there last year on a spinner. If you if you watch my side, I think the video is called the Agony of Defeat. You have the thrill of victory and now you can defeat us like ABC Sports out here. Muhammad Ali, our coach here.
got a new spinner here that I've never tried before. because it's too deep right here to get over my boot. There we go. Well, I will say one thing, just like been told about these kinds of martins is they say the spin is true and this I ain't had a problem with it spinning. I like that. that rooster tail. I don't want to say half the time it's just that rooster tail you just have to if you catch it just right Catch it just right. <sighs> what I mean. You have to catch it out and kind of tighten your line as it's landing us. So it jerks away from you. I lost that big one last year right across here. Now, he won't be here today. It's too, it's too swift over there today. Oh, there was something out there though. Get used to it. hit the old panther. some fish on here. Why would I eat that? That was a good sized fish. That is not the same fish. There you go. There's some fish in here. This one looked like a boat trout. He was about 12 inches. I might have been, I might be mixed up. I thought it looked like there was a brook trout there that was eating it that he looked you know si better sizable. That might have been that same thing. Small bone. There we go. 
policy. Gosh, dang it. Get that way back first and I'm talking about see. Z1, right, there's three bites right here. See, there's fish in here. So people are always get me stuff about, about like, okay, there ain't no fish in here and all of that. The fish are here. You have to present the bait right and all of that. That was a decent fish. I mean, it's a keeper right there that I just lost. I think he's the one that hit it that first time. about it. I knew that was a keep of fish. Let me Healthy. I'm strong. No, he's not struggling. No, he's not struggling. But he hit that spinner twice. I had him on the spinner one time. And uh he's not big, but just like I said, he's about four inches. He's he was healthy, he's healthy. I mean he's he was strong. Like I you can just tell he's like a muscle man. That's the been out here fighting this current and he's built, built these muscles up and you would think they would be tired. It probably is. It might not be. Because he's smart enough to get to the spot that I'm targeting him at is where it's the current hitting switch. But he did it that spinner twice and uh so I finally got down there and got him on that one, but I, I saw him. I thought it was a brook trout. And then he got on the spinner even better the second time. I actually had him hooked. That goes to show you that one of these fish are feeding him, but you know, it very well might be a different fish. There might be another one down there, as far as I know. But I mean, I think that's that same fish. Who knows? There's probably a limit of fish right here in front of me. That's a rainbow trout. All right, I'm baiting back up. And as I've said before, first off, the water's high. That's a good reason to use two pieces, in my opinion. That piece right there, the piece to the right that you can see, it was kind of almost was alive, but it was real dead looking but had a lot of activity the other piece is a smaller piece that i just pinched off of a fresh worm this morning it's got a good movement to him it looks a lot better let's see there's a fish right here as well on that spinner that I, I had a bite right here in front of this right here in front of me 
Let's see if I can get him on the one I had got down the last one. See, this one was really hard to position out here. Because uh, this one is moving so fast. coming up out of this bridge, it's cold. Put that spinner back on for just a second. And then I'm going to have to find smaller, smaller water.
Oh, это стоит, That's what I was thinking that might be in here today. Well, I said it a while ago when I was coming up through there. I said there should be some nice fish in here. And this is just what I was picturing. This is just what I was thinking should be. I bet there's some more of these in here, to tell you the truth. Look at that brown. That's about, mm, it's got to be 13 inches. It's just what I was thinking was probably in here. And I bet you there's some more of them right over here. Right in this area because now that's what I'm talking about. I think there's probably some more of them in here because like I keep saying, I mean that's just the the uh that's the situation here today. It's like they're He's been what the water got so high they washed out of the holes they were in and they're gonna end up in a spot like this just a slight water spot you might call it to where they can get over to the side somewhere if you can see right here in front of me on this side the water's flat it's not as swift as it is out in the middle you go up where the creek gets more narrow it's swift all the way across you're gonna get to a spot right here where they can get a little over to the edge and relax get out of the current chill and then wait till you know the water goes down and they're gonna sit over there and feed on stuff that's coming by as you know as, as the day progress you know as, as time goes on i'm just silly enough to keep on fishing this a little bit longer and i'll just cast right back out there and catch another one i don't know if he's gonna be big enough to keep it yeah. Yeah, I'm not. a problem this is where you run into a problem with the spinner right here talk to me you delayed hardest people but now I was going to say I'm just silly enough to just keep on because you know I, I believe in my I believe in what I'm what, what, what I'm preaching out here just now I believe there's fish here and you can see I, I don't walk right by them you can see I'm catching fish right out of here where I've already walked to. But, you know, at the same time, I'm sitting here and if you listen to what I've been saying, I believe there's fish in this section because of the conditions of this water. I think, there's, I, I think there's more fish here. I really do. I still do that. Yeah. I think we're just sitting over here to this side. The nicer fish, that little one was out in the swift of water. He's a little more aggressive. I think I'm gonna walk back down actually instead of getting out here. I think I'm gonna walk back down to where I started at. With the spinner and fish are a little bit better than what I did because it's just like this too. And I said that down there. It's the same type of hole. You know, I mean I fished the spinner down there already, but I I, I think I need to fish it a little bit better. I thought, I thought I had a bite on it one time with that spinner coming through there and you know then I just I didn't give it much more yeah. We'll see, it's worth walking back down there for me because it ain't a big deal about you know getting back to the car one way or the other. And I 
I'm not super first to time or anything. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just walk right back down, right where I came from and go back down that whole seat kind of catch another fish here. I think I might be able to, we'll see. scenario right here that I'm doing I normally wouldn't do anything like this is walk right back down where I came from so I'm just trying to find a pattern here and yeah, I think it's not where I knew it all along there's nothing difficult about it it's easy to figure out what's going on here today fish here I just I think the fish right here where I thought they were at the beginning but it's just kind of so swift they might just not be seeing the bait or I don't know that's swift here Woo. this is the type of thing right here give you cramps at night give you leg cramps <laughs> Gotta love it. Hey man, quit fishing, you quit getting them leg cramps. Oh, I'm gonna take them leg cramps. They may get me this year. Eating me up. I'm talking about, man, well, it could have been worse. Like when I play basketball, I think I've talked about it before my, in my camper. No one like my camper was too hot to hit that. If I'd had a gun in my hand, I might have killed myself. I, I mean, I'm telling you, you're talking about, I didn't know if I was ever going to get squared away, man. I mean, I thought I needed to go to the hospital, but then I couldn't move. So I still think there's a fish here. And even if they're not in this deep part. Anyway, I won't linger here too long because like I said, I really already fished this. I think I had a bite on the spinner down here earlier. Or either it bumped a rock and it felt like it, I'm not sure. But 
I'm gonna fish this a little better than I did because this section right here where I'm at right now is just like where I caught those fish back there. It's really similar. It's not the shallow, it's not the deep. It's in between and that's why I think fish could be sitting right now during, you know, the way the water is. Work that's going nice and slow. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Is it spinning? Yeah, I think it will. I think it will spin. Bad if you can't even tell if it's spinning though. <laughs> Spin. I think those flies don't start back in on me. I'll tell you what, man, it feels weird. Last weekend I had these flies back then I found out she's a poison somehow as well. And uh I still feel we could have hurt my knee this week. And I'm just now kind of getting over it. And I think I'm going to put the thing here. But, uh, I am um, fishing and these, these flies got on me. Man, that's a weird looking fly. I've never seen them like it before. They weren't big. They look like a horse fly except for a small version of a horse fly. Except for their wings was real transparent. Like real, I don't know what the word, I guess transparent is the right word. You could see through their wings real good. Almost clear. Weird looking fly. I mean, I guess all flies are like that, but this was really profound. Where you could see through their wings. They was a little bit bigger, I mean, I mean, some of them was probably the same size as a house fly, but they looked different. They didn't look like a house fly. And, uh, they were biting me. They remind me of a horse fly. That's why, like, they remind me of biting me like a horse fly. And I started smacking them. I killed several of them. And a couple of days later, I mean, that was Sunday especially. I mean, I think it happened all weekend, but it was Sunday especially. There's a bite. Oh, a bite right here in front of me. Oh, that man, that was cool. Rainbow got slime on my arm. I can't get it up. Oh. I keep getting twisted around the top of my arm. Anyways, I never really remember no flies like that I 
but just so happens like th Thursday night I was watching that show alone and they were talking about these flies and they're like these black flies and they showed their, where, how, how they had bit them they said those things are relentless and I swear it looked like the fly, the bites I was getting I mean they look like mosquito bites but like big whelps uh, you can see you can see two of them right there and that's after I've been they were swollen up bigger than that they were uh, that's after I was you know, I've been putting that calamine lotion on my weed. You can see the calamine still on there. I thought that was ironic. I've never even heard of those. And then I'm watching Alone the other night and they're talking about them on there. Weird. It's weird right here. This bite's weird right here. It feels like it's good. He keeps on there. He's, he's finding that bait just as easy as five. It's like my lines so further downstream. He's right in front of me. Okay, I'm about to wrap it up here. I know I already said that, but yeah, I'm gonna have to go find a different spot. Yep, I have to go to a different spot, y'all. Come for me, follow me on the ride. You don't have to, you can just hyperspace there. It's gonna take me a good 10, 15 minutes, but y'all can just hyperspace. Still fish this out a little bit better. I'm huh? still just, just taking this fish in. Still taking this fish in. I just something else. There's a bite. There's some fish here. That's a good bite. Ooh. See, that was a trout right there. Right here in front of me. Let's see if I can show you over what I'm talking about here. Let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about. That was a trout. I wonder why they want to eat it though. Now he's biting good enough. It's almost like an instinct bite. I've dealt with a lot of that this year. It's almost like an instinct bite rather than him really just wanting to feed. I just don't understand why that fish would not be wanting to just eat that worm. This right here in front of me, and I can't, I can't get, I can't get him. <coughs> I know it's a trap. I can tell by the way he's been biting. I mean, unless it's a big old chub, it could be a big chub, maybe. I think that's a trap. I 
I thought the fish would just be sitting right up there in this little crease this morning. Bait might not be getting far enough down. Need a bigger split shot. I don't know if I got any big split shot right now. I'm not touched. I'm putting something to see though. Yeah, I do. I'm right here. Let's see what this is. Dog in here. Yeah. That's a pretty big split shot. There's a slow my bait down just a little bit, does it means. <laughs> 